two biggest lies that you ladies out there listen to, the lies that you entertain, the lies that have made you ladies look like dumb dumb, like toto dumb 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 and dumber. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for what for who? Ladies, number one lie. If a man impregnates you the first time, ladies, and then he says, no, I'll marry you, and he does not marry you, there's no need for you to fall pregnant again for him. To guarantee you marriage again. For what for? For who? Who is poor by Eh? Some of you ladies have become very dumb dumb. You, are, you keep bearing children for a man who is lying to you. Ha? 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 Ladies. <laughs> you are about to become a laughing stock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know there are women that keep giving birth to children for a boyfriend who is... Who is, I don't know how foolishly, the boyfriend will just promise them marriage. No, he promised that he will marry me and then you keep giving birth. Juliet, Natasha, Diana, Josephine, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, are you okay in your head? Hey, the chap couldn't marry you on the first pregnancy. You think he's going to marry you on the fourth pregnancy? Huh? For what? For, for who? Some ladies become very naive. Huh? I have a lot of English today. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, I mean, for a fool. Ladies, do not be swayed. If he says he wants to marry you, let him marry you. These Japs nowadays, they even have the guts to come to your parents and tell your parents to say, no, 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 actually, I want to marry this girl. You know, then me and this girl, we love each other. Ha -ha. <laughs> Two years, three years, the chap is not marrying the girl. <laughs> Because somehow, somewhere, the chap did not want to have expensive damage charges. <laughs> Be careful, ladies. I'm telling you, I mean, for, for who? Some of you, as I'm talking right now, you have made companionship. You have made a family without your parents' recognition or anyone's recognition. You're even staying at his home and giving birth to children at his home. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Some of you have forsaken your families. You don't even want to listen to your mother or your auntie or your sisters or your brothers. You don't want to listen to them. No, he has some three kids of mine. So it's better I just go and stay with him since he's going to come and marry me. He's promised me. Huh? Where? What kind of a tradition is that one? <laughs> a rotten one. <laughs> yeah. You should be ashamed of yourselves. I'm telling you. I mean, for, for who? No, my parents have no issue. Some of you, you think your parents have no issue because you've got very nice parents. Parents that just don't want to talk, talk too much. They don't want to act on certain nonsense. They would just rather keep quiet. You, you think they are silenced. They have accepted your behavior. That's what you think, you foolish chap. They haven't accepted your behavior. Trust me. I mean, for, for who? This is a lie that most men have told you. My sister, you have become an ob object of doing, if you don't know. <laughs> a vessel of just doing. <laughs> Trust me, ladies, I mean, for, for who? Very soon you are going to hear that chap has married somewhere else. And then you, he's going to leave you with those children that you have had for him. Him, you marry somewhere else. And then you, you become a bitter baby mama. In fact, since you have a lot of babies, you become a bitter baby's mama. <laughs> I'm telling you, I mean, for, for who? Number two, uh, ladies, if you are out there and you have a man who has engaged you for more than one, in fact, more than two years, you are just moving around with your engagement ring. For more than two years, you are moving around with your engagement ring. Diana, I want to let you know that uh, we are very sorry. And I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. <laughs> Wake up. For what? For who? Who did you by Eh? Diana, that chap, actually what he has done is that he's just selfish and keeping you for himself alone. Tell him to release you. Diana. He needs to let you go. <laughs> Two years in an engagement ring. Ah, ah, ladies, <laughs> let us wake up. If there is no justifiable reason why you have that engagement ring for two years, some of you is even going to three years in an engagement ring. Please, my sister, that chap is not taking you anywhere. Hear it from me. And I am sorry to be the bearer of bad news. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Trust me, ladies, there are men that actually do that nonsense. They will just put a ring on your finger because they don't want you to jump to the next guy, even when they are not serious in their life. I'm telling you, for, for who?
These are the same chaps that marry somewhere else and they leave you with that engagement ring for three years. Wake up my sister. Some of it's been one year, six months, no sign of marriage or seriousness. Not even plans at all. <laughs> my sister, you're about to receive a shock of your life. <laughs> yeah, life is hard, but it is what it is. Two years, three years, I'm engaged. <laughs> Maria, some of you don't even know where your engagement ring is. You stopped wearing it. <laughs> yeah, we saw the photos about three years ago. But he... You are not marrying. <laughs> Someone is playing dumb dumb in that relationship. Ah, the dumb one is you, my sister. You are the dumb one. For what? For who? Some of your engagements, your parents don't even know about it. Your homes, they don't know about those engagements. <laughs> yeah, they don't know that daughter is engaged somewhere else. <laughs> Ah, life is hard. <laughs> Please, ladies, hold your chest and say these words after me. <laughs> Lord, do not allow me to be this desperate in life. <laughs> yeah. The void is just shining for nothing. <laughs> yeah. In the head, there's no sense. Wake up, ladies. I mean, for who? And usually they always have something. No, let, let me just settle. We will start planning. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Uh, Go out there, ladies. Uh, as you hit your weave like this, please don't hit the sense out of your head. Uh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>